What if the way you've been solving problems is holding you back? What if everything you've been taught about problem solving is backwards? What if the real secret to breakthrough ideas isn't creativity or hard work, but unlearning the way you think? Surprising? Well, you'd be even more surprised to know that the great innovator Elon Musk didn't build giants like Tesla, SpaceX, or X by following the rules. He built them by rewriting the rules by using a 2,400 years old mental model famously known as first principles thinking. Elon Musk isn't just a visionary, he's a system disruptor. But how? Let me assure you, it's not magic, it's methodology. And let's discuss the Musk's methodology. Most of the people think by analogy, which is basically copying what already exists but not Musk. He strips problems down to their raw, fundamental truths, then rebuilds them from the ground up, from the scratch. The end result? The electric cars that outperform gas guzzlers, the reusable rockets that have the ability to land themselves, and over $40 billion Twitter takeover. In the words of Musk himself, I think it's important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. So the question is, why do literally 99% of the people are stuck in old, outdated time loops? Why aren't they thinking and innovating like Musk? Well, in this video, we're going to demolish the traditional outdated thinking and we're going to dissect Musk's mind to reveal the exact steps of first principles thinking and how you can use them to solve problems in a better way. But the question is, are you ready to quit the old ways? If you are, then stick around, because this video is going to be a game changer. What if the biggest obstacles, the biggest problems, and things that are holding you back aren't real? What if the limits you accept, the rules you follow, are just outdated and unquestioned assumptions. This is what the core idea behind first principles thinking is. And this is very same thinking model that Elon Musk adopted, which helped him become who is he today, which helped him build Tesla and send rockets to the space with minimum cost. Well, let's discuss the way it works. It is further based on three principles. Break the problem down into its most fundamental truths. For example, what is actually true? Remember, most rules are just traditions, not the actual laws. So the next step is asking yourself, is this really the only way? Why do we assume that it's the only way, the only solution to that certain problem? Now use those raw fundamentals to construct a new solution, no baggage, no blind spots. This is the basis of first principles thinking. Even Aristotle used it and called it the first basis from which a thing is known. Apart from Aristotle, Descartes used the exact same mental model to dismantle all the illogical beliefs until only the universal truths remained. Let me give you an example of how Musk used the same model. Instead of accepting high costs, he asked, what are batteries made of? Well, carbon, nickel, aluminum, right? Then he constructed a solution from that by asking himself, why can't we buy these cheap and assemble them ourselves? Well, boom, there's goes the discovery of Tesla's batteries. Now ask yourself, are you going to be among those who are stuck in old problem-solving ways? Or are you going to challenge the status quo? Let me tell you a hard truth. Your main problem isn't failing. It is your aims. They are too low. While most people are busy setting what they call realistic goals, Musk is sending rockets to Mars. Musk is dreaming of making Mars inhabitable. If Musk can aim so high, why can't you? Because a stellar vision like colonizing Mars isn't some crazy idea. It's a force for breakthroughs. Even the research studies prove the same. For example, Daniel Pink's drive 
and Carol Dweck's growth mindset. Show that purpose and growth mindset are the qualities that separate those who burn out from those who break barriers. The phrase, we've always done it this way, is the actual enemy, according to Grace Hopper. SpaceX didn't copy NASA. They simply invented a new idea. Why can't rockets land themselves? The craziest thing, the first three rockets of SpaceX didn't launch. They exploded and the missions were failed. Most companies would have quit, but not Musk. He doubled down. Why? Because volatility isn't a threat. It's data, as Nassim Taleb argues in Antifragile. So what's your Mars? What's your extraordinarily crazy idea? What's your end goal? Because let me make it clear to you. If your plan doesn't sound insane, it's not ambitious enough. In the words of John F. Kennedy, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. What is the secret to success according to you? If you think it's avoiding mistakes, then you are completely wrong. It is making the mistakes faster than everyone else. Take Elon Musk's example. He doesn't just dream big. Instead, he builds, tests, fails, and iterates at the speed of light. While other companies spend decades making a perfect product, Musk blows up rockets in public. And each guess what? Each explosion accelerates the progress. Why? Because the solution is simple. Innovation isn't about genius, it's about velocity. Musk's companies don't work the traditional way. They treat every project as a scientific experiment based on the following three principles. The first one is prototype fast, which says, don't theorize, just build. The second one is test relentlessly, which demands, let the reality vote. The third one is learn and launch again, which says overnight, not over years. According to this model, the progress isn't attained by defending wrong ideas. It is attained by falsifying them. The same ideological model was proved by Karl Pepper. The highly innovative mind of Musk also goes by the idea of taking bold steps and risks. He doesn't play safe and defensive game. His approach is high risk, high reward, reward risk, punish inertia. At SpaceX, the safe ideas are riskier than the bold ones. And this is exactly how Musk revolutionized the tech and space industry. So, why are you moving too slowly and feeling stuck? Why are you overthinking when you could be experimenting and testing? Because remember, the difference between you and Elon Musk isn't talent, it's action. You don't need to be Elon Musk to think like him. Embrace the principles, set your own Martian ambitions, and start your own journey of innovation. In the words of Alan Kay, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. So, start challenging the status quo now. Start using your critical thinking ability to dismantle the wrong beliefs. Stop using old, outdated ways to solve problems and start following the first principles thinking model. Think out of box, test, experiment, and invent. Be the trendsetter. Be the spark behind the true change. Start the revolution. All right, guys, this is it for today. If you found this video inspiring and helpful, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more inspirational content. Until next time.